Hi Internet. Hi YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first reaction video. Welcome to what I'm going to call from now on, I guess, Watch with Wombat. Um, I spent a long time trying to figure out what show I wanted to watch first, and I decided finally, and that's Batman the Animated Series, uh, the show back from the 90s. Uh, the show that kicked off the DCAU, the DC Animated Universe, uh, which includes such shows as not just Batman the Animated Series, but Superman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, The New Batman Adventures, Static Shock, um, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, and a whole bunch of other movies and a couple other shows that I'm forgetting right now. But um, yeah, you know, before the New 52 uh, feature, you know, animated films started, there was the DC Animated Universe, which I think was probably uh, the best superhero animated shows at the time. Batman the Animated Series, I think, is a well-respected, loved show by a lot of people, not just fans of Batman. Me, I've always liked Batman, and I know that I haven't actually watched this show. I can probably count on one hand the number of episodes I've actually watched from start to finish. But I did watch Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. I watched all of that and I loved that. I was aware, sort of, that it was part of the same continuity as Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series. I watched more Superman the Animated Series because I guess I'm a bigger Superman fan than I am Batman. But, uh, you know, I like to start things at the beginning. And that means starting here with Batman the Animated Series. And uh, the first episode of the first season is called The Cat and the Claw, Part 1. So let's see how this goes. So we're just going to dive right in and hope that it all works out for the best. Oh wait, let's, let's actually start at the beginning because I love the theme song so much. If I'm not mistaken, like this is inspired by the theme song from the 1989 Tim Burton Batman movie. I think I need to turn down the volume just a little bit more still. There we go. I feel like the animation for this show is just so interesting, so stylized. What I think is like an old-fashioned feel. It's all just it's so characteristic of the tone that they're trying to set for this show, for, for this kind of Gotham City, for this kind of Batman. I know that Catwoman has such a complicated lore. Like in some comics and shows, she's been a metahuman, but I know also in a lot of other shows, she's just 100% human with no supernatural powers. Um, she's just sort of like Batman, the height of human physical ability. Although even in those iterations, I feel like just her affinity with cats goes beyond what's to be expected. And that's why he's the world's greatest detective. In a, in a town where, <clears throat> where Batman is a known quantity, she shouldn't be so astonished. Oh wow, that was a crazy interaction. <laughs> and the cat looks traumatized. And, and how did he beat her there? Who knows how he beat her there? Because he's Batman. That's that's how he beat her there. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, hiss. Wow. Hey. I'll have to try and trim those claws. Bad. At least he didn't say bad kitty, right? Oh man, thwarted by the garbage. And for some reason the cat stops in the middle of the road. But that's okay. Can cats really do that? Can they really climb up like that? I don't I don't really know too much about cats. They're not I'm not what you would call a cat person. Thanks for the memento. Is that fur? I guess. Oh, the, the coloring there is just amazing. Oh wow. I just love how how the show is just so bold with these color choices. <laughs> oh wow. I've never seen her before. Rumor has it she's a wildlife nut. She's supposed to be sponsoring a mountain lion preserve outside Gotham. A wildlife nut, but not like a wild flower nut yes. like uh, poison ivy. You're off the hook. But you're not. I beg your pardon. Yeah, take it easy, Bruce. <laughs> Oh, nobody's hitting anything. Wait, since when did the U.S. Army use Tommy guns? So, like, so much of this show seems an so anachronistic. Like, set in the 40s, the 50s, some of the cars, but the guns. Like, the Tommy guns. Fire? Explosion? No? 
I love how the sewer cap just says sewer on it. Thanks, Ren. What's going down? This morning I get a warning from What's the going down? Red Is Red Claw like a, a well known supervillain in the comics? He had the eyes of a liar. <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell he has the eyes of a lion? They were just yes. straight up white with no no irises. Now I haven't seen the new Batman movie, so I don't know Catwoman's interests are outside of cat burglary. But I don't think uh, other live action versions of Catwoman have uh, have indicated she's interested in in like wildlife preservation. Ooh, oh wow, yeah, huh. See, just a second ago, I was really proud of myself for already thinking this is this company is going to be tied to Red Claw, but I feel like other people figured this out way before I did already. Ooh, oh no. Do you really have to, to say it that way, one way or another? Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Now, who is this? Oh, I remember her, but I don't know where from. Actually, I plan to work late. <laughs> well, these are real wise guys. Really? You're gonna draw down on Batman? I wonder if this is Carmine Falcone or like some stand-in for him. Ah, uh, if it was only that easy to cut glass. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Like, don't mind me, I'm sorry to interrupt. What Eastern? Eastern where? I don't know, somewhere in the East. I mean, for a keyboard that small, it, it's not impossible to crack. Because, of course, you put a camera there just in case, you know, you have something like this happen. So, okay, the cat has proven useful at detecting security alarms and, and, and scouting ahead, but the cat couldn't hear trouble coming. Why didn't she just go back out the way she came in? <laughs> oh, yeah. Even in cartoons, there's the conceit that ventilation conduits are large enough for people to wander through. Oh, wow. Okay. Just in case you didn't know who put those there, she put them in the shape of a cat. Going up or down? Up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Didn't even try to open the door. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. The law. The yeah. law. <laughs> Good one, Batman. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. And uh, yeah, don't don't uh, say that again. <laughs> She'll throw you off a roof again. A lot of cats, huh? Who is going to save you? You can tell by the eyes that he's a bad guy. And it's to be continued. Well, that was the uh, first episode of Batman the Animated Series. Uh, the Cat and the Claw. It was really good. I mean, I, I know I made a lot of snide remarks, but I really enjoyed it. Um, not just the story, of course, because, I mean, already you can see that Batman is a black and white sort of superhero. He's got layers. He's conflicted already obviously attracted to a criminal and of course she's attracted to him because he's batman um and even catwoman even she's more nuanced than just being a bad guy she's she has like noble aspirations and then of course there's the, like the visual style the uh, the animation the, the color scheme all of that i was just fascinated by all of it i'm so excited to be to be starting this show and um i hope that you all will um, come back and, and watch it with me. I hope that you enjoyed this. You hope you enjoyed my reactions. If you did, please hit like, please subscribe. Please be my first follower. That would be really, really awesome. And yeah, I'll catch you next time.